Oscar just called. He said he's uh, right here next to the, the hotel. We're not staying in the hotel, but there is a bar, the only bar in town. And we are just waiting for him. He should show up anytime. Uh, he said it was about two minutes from the hotel. So we're excited that our buddy's here. If there's a will, there's a way. Amen, brother. How does it feel to be here? Ah, oh, awesome. You know, I just started yeah. screaming when I passed the border <laughs> of Colorado. I'm like, ah, I made it, I made it, I made it, I made it. His new nickname, Evil Knievel, man. <laughs> I need a drink. All right, our brother has arrived. Five. Now the trio Woo. is complete. The way it should have been from the very beginning, but doesn't matter because it's gonna end as a trio. I just rode 2,010 miles from Fort Lauderdale to here. Regular time, man. Regular time, evil can evil time. And four <laughs> days, a day ahead of schedule, and I'm so happy, man. Man, I'm he, so happy. He's my, this guy is my new hero, brother. <laughs> <laughs> so happy. Now we're gonna have some drinks, yay! Well, we had a little uh, too much fun last night here in the camping. And uh, we ran like a bottle of uh, rum and uh, we had a good time. That was a welcoming, you know, moment for, to have our buddy here, finally. Now is it three stooges from now on, baby. All right, we have a casualty from last night's uh, <laughs> welcoming party for Oscar. <laughs> Are you hangover, Mike? Just a little bit. Just a little bit? Thanks to uh, Mrs. Don Q and Mrs. Bacardi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, man, don't take them out anymore. Oh, no. <laughs> Shut that thing off. <laughs> okay, Carlos, what's for dinner tonight? Dude, we're making some ribeye steaks that we just bought from a local uh, butcher. And they actually, it's grass-fed meat. They, it's all grown right here. And we also bought some bacon. It's also local. We're going to wrap the bacon around the steaks, and then we're going to do some potatoes. That's going to be dinner tonight, man. And I'm doing this, and I want to I wanna take a bite out of this, even though it's not cooked yet. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that looks beautiful. Mmm, that smells great. Ooh. What's up, honey man? Ooh, that looks nice. Dude, this is perfect. This is what I need. Oh, man. Some wine, some food. Bon appetit, fellas. Mm. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Florida officials are sounding the alarm. Mandatory evacuations have already begun in the Keys tonight. The governor now urging the people of his state, the entire state, to be prepared. Good morning, people. Seems like uh, the Hurricane Irma just did landfall in Key West, and it's moving a little further west, uh, which is not good for the people of the Keys and definitely not good for the people of the west coast of Florida, but at least we've been spared, apparently, you know, on the east coast. So hopefully uh, we'll get an assessment tonight of everything, and then we'll decide whether to continue or not. I'm hoping that will be the case so we can finish our trip. This is an ABC News update. Hurricane Irma. Good evening from Naples tonight, where you can see the conditions beginning to worsen as we speak. They're expecting winds of 100 miles per hour or more, lasting several hours here across much of western Florida. Our friend Mike, unfortunately, because he lives in Ocala and it seems like he may actually do a direct hit in Ocala, had to head back uh, yesterday. He may still come back if uh, once he gets there, everything is okay in his property. But, you know, it's kind of sad. We've been kind of, you know, bummed out because I uh, lost, uh, lost him for, at least for now. But again, we're praying and keeping our fingers crossed, hoping that, uh, that once he gets there and everything is fine, he'll head back. He has a That's big awesome. farm and nobody to take care of it. And unfortunately, he's, you know, he has a lot to lose if, uh, if something happens when he's not there to take care of it right away. So the storm is supposed to heat tonight and tomorrow. And then uh, after that, we'll be able to figure it out if we continue or not. And hopefully we will, if it is the two of us, and hopefully it will be the three of us again. In the meantime, let's go get some beer somewhere, man. We're in a beautiful some campsite. Some food and some wood for the... For tonight. For tonight. Yes. 
So we are here at Sam's. Sam's place in downtown Segundo. Downtown Segundo. You see, I just learned that we were in Segundo. Thank you for <laughs> saying that. Welcome. I was going to ask you where we were because I had no idea. Right. I'm the only bar open till you get to Trinidad, and then I'm the only bar yeah. open till you get to La Vida. This is a great place for anybody who is doing the Trans America Trail. I highly suggest that you stop at Sam's place. It's right here. This is 12, right? Yes, sir. This is 12. This is the Highway of Legends. This highway is the Highway of Legends. Legends. And it's a beautiful road, you're gonna love it. And it's a great bar with a great host, our friend George right here. So and we're drinking local brews. The original course. Thank you, George. You're welcome. Yes. Good morning. Good morning, dude. How do you sleep last night, man? Nah, very good, but it was kind of cold. It was cold. Yeah, it was cold. Get Slides. some coffee. I'm having some coffee. I did yeah. some coffee over there, dude. Ooh, coffee time. Yeah, baby. Thank you. Okay, so it's September 11, 2017, and uh, we just got the call from South Florida, from the family, that everything is fine. Uh, so we got the green light to keep going. Uh, Mike, he's uh, still on his way to Ocala. Apparently, uh, the storm kind of missed uh, his property, but he doesn't know the condition just yet. Hopefully, uh, he'll be able to check it today or tomorrow and make a decision whether he's going to be able to turn around or not. In the meantime, we're heading back on the trail today, and uh, it's a beautiful day. Goodbye, Trinidad, Colorado, and uh, we're on our way towards to Salinas. Uh, Sal Salidas. So I don't think we're going to make it today because it's a long haul, but uh, we're but getting We're ready. on the trail already. We're on the trail already, so... Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll, guys. Well, it seems like we're going uh, into the mountains. We're actually heading west at this moment. And uh, the route is supposed to take us uh, west-northwest all the way to Salida, Colorado. So uh, I can see where we're going to start getting into the high country now. We were still on the on the plains uh, from uh, Trinidad to here. But it's uh, starting to get more hilly, more mountainous, and it's going to be beautiful. Mountains, here we come. It seems like it's raining hard ahead of us. Hopefully we'll be able to voice some of it. I'm sure we will. Ocarito, what do you think about your first day of roading, man, in the tat? I'm just breaking in the bike. I'm getting, you know, acquainted with her. Um, we're doing great, man. Yeah, this is kind of like a warm-up loop. Oh, yeah. You know, we have some weather to the west. Uh, we're going northwest, and uh, we're trying to, hopefully, we, we won't get wet. But uh, it's supposed to get more and more challenging the higher we go. Let's go. We are in the town of La Vida. Pretty cool little town. Just put some gas, and they say there is supposed to be a bar. Just wanna have a beer, just a beer. Okay, we arrive in Sitz High Country Barbecue and Grill. Are you ready for a beer, Oscar? Oh yeah, please. We may get rain, which means we're gonna have to stay put at the bar. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's, I don't know, man. That's, uh, that's, I don't know, that's a problem. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's a bar. Nice. Salute, man. Salute. Great ride today. We still have quite a bit. 75 miles. So but it was great because it was, for me it was kind of like a warm-up. Yep. You, know? you got milk? Well. <laughs> <laughs> you just had a couple of beers and something called, it was cowboy nachos. It's actually not made with tortillas, it's made with potatoes. And we're not in Idaho yet. <laughs> but if you guys come to La Vida, I definitely recommend this spot, man. Sits High Country Barbecue and Grill.
Okay, since we found a well uh, spot, it's getting dark and it's raining all around us. The road was a little bit muddy even though we didn't get any rain, so we decided we're gonna stay here. It's kind of weird that RV since abandoned is the only thing that we've seen. There seems to be some uh, firewood right here. Oh no, we got more than enough. Look oh yeah, can burn the place down, baby. We got ourselves a little nice spot, man, in this... Uh, in the wild. Obviously, somebody's been here before because they had all those rocks uh, for a fire pit. So, what's going on, buddy? How, well, was, how was your first day of uh, riding the Tat? I loved it. We rode 115 miles. 100. Yeah, from Trinidad, 115 miles. We, we could have done more, but we just we left at noon, you know? Yeah, we got on the road as soon as we could. It's it was still, a beautiful day. It was a beautiful day. At the end, again, we were skimming the, the rain storms all day long. I mean, we could see it right there, but we, for some reason, the, the trail was always going around it. But we found ourselves a very nice uh, spot right here in the wild. And we're going to cook later? Hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> no, are we going to do that rice? Oh, no, no, rice with hot dog. <laughs> Jambalaya rice. Jambalaya with hot dogs. Yeah. Cool. We're preparing some... Jambalaya rice. It's a very cold night, very cold night, and windy as hell. But we're gonna be able to eat something nice and warm. Ooh. What are you eating, man? Mm. Jambalaya with some sausages. Easy to cook, quick, and delicious. Yep. Hey amigos, thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also, make sure to share this video, give it a thumbs up, and let us know what you think in the comments section below. Thanks again for watching, and right on amigos!